the pass filter. This is just to appreciate between the what advantage and disadvantage of FIR and IR filters, FIR filters compared to IR filter is. It can be designed with an exact linear phase. Structures are very stable. So this is this two advantage. There is one disadvantage is that because uh, if you go on designing an FIR filter, the length of the filter becomes large uh, with the same required specification of the IR filter. So, but this two advantage overweighs the disadvantage of the FIR filter. Now, let's come down to the FIR filter design by windowing. So, what should I do? Obviously, I should start with my, uh, this is a discrete time. So, there is no continuous time in there because I'm going to design a digital, say, filter. I should start with the uh, ideal low pass, uh, low pass frequency response. Uh, then, what should I do? I, I, I need to define a function which is I called as a window function. So here is the window function, wn is the window function. I multiply it with the desired one, so I'll get a practical one. And this picture shows you that what exactly I explained uh, on the board itself that when you do this process in mathematics in mathematics it will be a convolution because multiplication in time this multiplication in times becomes convolution in frequency domain so the that equation represents the convolution equation the output of the convolution is something like this which is what practically we get okay so to design an fir filter fir filter using windowing method you need to do three steps start with ideal response truncate it to finite length and mod modify it, modify your original response to the practical one. These are the three steps and this is just for the sake of example, I have taken the one function called as a rectangular function, but there are other window functions available uh, in digital signal processing. These are the other window function which can give you the better characteristics compared to this. You can go on improving the uh, desired one and ideal one, okay? Uh, I just go, uh, I, I'll come to this slide after, the, after demonstrating one of the short uh, animation. Oh, it's already good. So here, what you are observing is there are four windows you are you you are, you are saying this is a signal, this is a frequency response, Fourier transform. This is my sync signal. The this this is my wind, uh, what on what uh, signal I am going to operate my window function, and this is my final response. Okay, I just give you the uh, how does it change? You can see this. So you can see the response is getting changed by just changing this. See, our ultimate goal is to design more and more towards an ideal filter, okay? So by changing the uh, parameters, by changing the cutoff frequency, by changing the uh, roll of factor, I am getting, and also uh, there are different types, low pass, high pass, band pass, I can design with all the window functions. This is what I appreciate from you people to understand the FIR filter design. And uh, This is a practical example which I have, which I, which I simulated in uh, MATLAB, and this will give you the same result which I wanted to sh show you using different window function, Hanning, Hamming, Blackman. You can see the improvement. So this will have a higher ripples in the stop band. This will have somewhat lesser. This will have minimize, something like this. Thank you. <coughs>